Good morning, my dear good brothers and good sisters. Wonderful. Good morning, my dear brothers, good brothers and good <laughs> sisters. His good brothers and good sisters is from your friend, Father Stephen. Yeah. He makes it a point to call everybody good brothers and good sisters. So whatever is bad also becomes good across. Yes. <laughs> the words of Francis of Assisi. Yes. Amen. Exactly. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, new face. A wonderful anointed priest from Bangalore has come on deputation here to help the fathers here. And he has come to be with us this evening. This morning, sorry, and he will talk to you about something that is different. Before that, let him introduce himself. Father, please tell them about yourself. Hi, friends. It is uh, sorry, Father Uday Kumar from Bangalore, India. I teach at St. Peter's Pontifical Seminary, Bangalore. I teach moral theology and also moral philosophy, ethics. My subjects, main subjects are about marriage, about bioethics, about the commandments and a little bit of scripture. So I'm very happy as Vijay has invited me to speak to you about a few questions that he asked me to speak to you and tell to you, clarify on these questions sir. And uh, I'm very happy to share my thoughts. You forgot to tell them about your seminary. I teach at St. Peter's Seminary. Ah, seminary, yeah. So he teaches seminarians who are about to be priests. Be priests, and he can talk and preach. The first three commandments it took takes you how many hours? 40 hours. 40 hours to explain the first three commandments, okay? That is a tremendous in depth of how he preaches out there. Today, Father. What is a description you would give of an ideal family? Wonderful question. You see, I always say, when it speaks about family, yes. ideal okay. or ideal, right. who can be? Is this family of the Holy Spirit or the family of the Trinity? Trinity yes. The ideal or the ideal family is between God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because they are one, although they are three different. Correct. They love each other. Right. There is no egoism between them. Correct. There is oneness. Right. Perfect understanding. Amen. Amen. And therefore, an ideal family, first of all, I say, yes. is the Trinity Himself. Amen. Amen. And that's why it is said, all that is, is in relationship. Yes. Without relationship, nothing can exist. Amen. Amen. And that relationship is in the Trinity. Praise God. Praise God. And look at that. The ideal family is the Holy Family. Yes. Exactly. What better example can we give when we speak about the ideal family? It is Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look at it, the three persons. Correct. The three persons included everything of love. Yes. yes. Spoke of love, gave love, transmitted love, love. transformed by love. Correct. Amen. And therefore, this is what is actual, ideal. Yes. The example of ideal family is a holy family. Now, this is spiritual side. Correct. When we come to our human families, yes. Ideal family, if we say, it can be explained, defined, uh, yes. in a way saying, all those blood relationships, right? All with the, the brothers and sisters, the father and the mother, Living together right. under one roof, Correct. one group, right. one understanding, yes. one belief, one love, sharing and living. Correct. This is a definition of an ideal family. family. Amen. And therefore, ideal family is that which can very clearly say, who converse with each other with comfort, 
and ease to move along. That is an ideal family. Correct. They do not agree about so many things. Yes. They do not agree. Yeah. But in the end, uh, they share happiness together. Praise God. By forgetting all the differences. Praise God. That is an ideal family. family. You see, they enjoy time together. Right. They live their time together. Yeah. And the best of all is they forget the differences. Amen. That is an ideal family. Amen. Beautiful. If you want to know about an ideal family, if there is a genuine happiness, okay, you can say this is an ideal family. Genuine happiness. Correct. No fake. Right, right. Because genuineness comes only if you are real. Correct. Very true, sir. Genuineness comes if if you are not egoistic. Correct. Genuineness comes only if you are sacrificial. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. And that's what ideal family is something wonderful to say when each other they respect each other. Although accepting their own differences, differences, exactly. Respect one another. Correct. How much do we respect each other in a family? Mm-hmm. An ideal family is one who spends all that they know to spread within themselves. Correct. Not to hide themselves. Yes. Not to be secretive. Yes. Very true. That means you don't trust the other. Correct. It's already broken. Okay. It's already gone. Trust is gone. Trust is gone. Correct. So therefore, an ideal family is starting with the parents and the children, where the father and the mother are a model to the children. Correct. That's an ideal family. Please, uh, beautiful. I think an ideal family must have love. Okay. Must have love within all of them. Yes. All to be happy. All to be happy. All to be happy. Correct. Okay. They understand love. Right. They help each other. Other. Yes. They are sad when others are sad. Correct. Okay. They cry when others are crying. Crying. Yeah. They laugh and giggle when others are laughing. Yeah. And therefore, an ideal family is that which gives uh, themselves to each other. Ah, well, ah, well, ah, well. Beautiful. Boy. So, therefore, will all this be a theory? Or can it be a real, yeah. in reality? Yes. Is it impossible? No. It is not impossible. impossible. It is difficult. Yes. It is difficult. Yes. But it is not impossible. Amen. If we take away the ego from us, correct, a family can be united right. in love, in oneness. And therefore I say a perfect ideal family today where God is placed in the center. Right. In the center and then all others surround and live because the radiance of God spreads towards the family and what you imbibe from him will be distributed within the family and therefore this God living, God loving family can become an ideal family. Amen. Amen. Beautiful Father. Very nice. Very nice. You described it so beautifully Father. Okay. So beautiful. So beautiful. Well my brothers and sisters, those of you who have not understood, I would request you to rewind this. Because Father has placed it so beautifully, there is no other way that he could have told in a better way. So, Father, what I want you to do is please pray and give us the final blessing for all the families who are watching and all those broken families, all the families who are suffering from all these problems that God reunites them. Lord Heavenly Father, I pray all these families. Yes, into Lord. your hands, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You have come from a family, Lord Jesus. You were obedient 
Yes. To your parents. Yes. You did everything to make it a wonderful family. Hallelujah. And therefore, let these families take from you, yes. understand your love, yes. and make their family into a loving family, Jesus. into a holy family. Jesus. Let God's presence come into their lives, Holy Spirit, yes. and open their minds and hearts so that your love can be spread on these families. We especially pray for the broken families, Lord Jesus. Yes, my Father. Bless them, Lord. Take away the ego from them. Yes. Let there be forgiveness in themselves. Jesus. Bring them back together. Let them experience your love, experience your forgiveness, experience the true happiness of an idle family, a holy family. God bless you Amen. Bless you. The Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves and be a good ideal family for the Lord. Amen.